Burn, burn, burn. Is the burning old coke? Let's see how to add a fuel item to Minecraft. All right, we find ourselves back in IntelliJ once more. And in this tutorial, we're going to be adding a custom fuel item to Minecraft. Now, this is once again something that is actually not too complicated. However, there is, well, there are some intricacies here. So usually you would think, well, maybe we can just add another item and we would be done with it. Well, sadly, we actually need to make a custom item class for this. So this is sort of an advanced item, but not really because we only have to override one particular method. So in our custom package, we're going to right click new Java class called the coal coke item. And this will, of course, extend the item class right here. We'll hover over this create constructor matching super and then we're going to override the get burn time method right here. So this one and we just have to return the burn time in ticks. So in our, my case here, well, I'm going to do 3200. So this should be double the time of coal. Well, that's pretty much all that there is to it. This is, of course, in ticks once again. So you divide this by 20 to get the number of seconds there. And that will pretty much be it for this class here. So you would have to do this every time you want a new fuel item. There is another way that you can do this with an anonymous class. So we're just going to take a look at this. I'm just going to copy over the cucumber and we're going to make the coal coke. And we're going to call this the coal underscore coke as well. Now this does not have a food right here. That would be kind of weird. And what we can do is in theory, we can also make an anonymous class like this. So you can see if I add the curly brackets here, we're going to make an anonymous class out of this. And then inside of here, I can also overwrite the get burn time and return 3200. It's just, you know, a little unwieldy. And if you have a lot of them, it can sometimes be a little bit too much. But you can go either way, either making an anonymous class like this, or you can also just make a full coke item here. So a custom item class, either one would work. I just wanted to show you both ways. And of course, this is still a normal item. So once again, just add the translation here, coal coke, and of course, here as well, coal underscore coke, making sure that this is correct. Of course, everything written correctly. Oh, well, I mean, here we have to translate it. That's of course, kind of the idea here, the actual model JSON file, a completely normal model JSON file. All of this is, of course, also available to you in the description below GitHub repository and individual gists as well. But none of this is out of the norm. So all of this should work fairly easily and should be nothing new, really. But those are all of the things that we need to add. So let's see if it works. All right, we found ourselves back in Minecraft. As you can see, the cold coke has been added to the game. Now let's see if I can put it in here. And of course I can. And it's going to, well, burn through double the time burn time of coal. So we're going to have a long time here. As you can see, it actually does burn quite a long time. It should, I believe, do 16 items because coal would do eight. I believe that should be the general idea here. So this is, well, how easy it can be to add a custom fuel item to Minecraft. Right, but that would already be it for this tutorial right here. I hope you found this useful and you learned something new. If you did, I would very much appreciate a like. And don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials just like this one. So, yeah.